Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example seven here, and uh, we've saved the best for last because uh, in this video, we're gonna uh, show that this limit here is E. I already made a video showing you the traditional proof of why this limit is E, so check that out, and I'll link it below this video. But yeah, this is, I think, like a cooler uh, approach, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and of course, as usual, before I begin, uh, I praise the Lord Jesus Christ, and may he cast out all evil from my life and from your life. Okay, let's get started. Um, okay, so uh, as per usual, we need to figure out how to squeeze this, and this is how we can do it. Um, and this positive x and positive y, let's draw a portion of the graph of um, f equals f of x that is equals 1 over x yeah okay cool now <laughs> like i'm not in love with this it needs to be like more bendy okay this is better i'm more satisfied okay 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 and now on this graph um let's take the portion uh from one to um one plus one over x yeah? Okay, now uh, let's draw a rectangle that over approximates the area from x equals 1 to uh, 1 plus 1 over x. And by the area, I mean the area under the curve. So this rectangle here over approximates the area under the curve, uh, 1 over x, from x equals 1 to x equals uh, 1 plus 1 over x, right? So this is an over approximation, and I'm going to leave this unshaded. Uh, now, the exact area under the curve is like something like this, right? And let's shade it horizontally. The exact area is this, right? And then there's an under approximating rectangle. For the over approximating rectangle, this big rectangle, the height is given by this here, right? And the base is this. For the under approximating rectangle, the height is given by this here from here to here right and the base is the same right okay okay so the under approximating rectangle looks something like this let's shade it like diagonally uh, so we can distinguish it from the other areas right okay and now it's pretty clear that the area of the under approximating rectangle this little fella is less than the exact area under the curve the horizontal shading which is in turn less than uh, the area given by the over approximating rectangle, right? So we can definitely say that, right? Okay, okay, okay. So, so uh, let's begin by the area of, by finding the area of the over approximating rectangle. Well, its height is this here. And what is that? Well, plugging in one into F, and that's one over one, so the height is one. And then the base here is, uh, the length from here to here, which is 1 over x, right? Okay, so we see that the area of uh, the over approximating rectangle is 1 times 1 over x, or simply 1 over x. So let's write that right here, 1 over x. Yeah? And this area, we said, is bigger than, it's bigger than uh, the exact area. The exact area, right, the horizontal shading, is in calculus given by the integral. So the integral from 1 to 1 plus 1 over x of the function f, which is 1 over x, dx, right? This is the exact area. And we said the exact area in turn is bigger than the area of the under approximating rectangle, this little guy, right? Well, what's his area? We've already figured out the base, and we said that the height is this distance here. What is that distance? Well, we have to plug in 1 plus 1 over x into f, right? First of all, 1 plus 1 over x, notice, is the same as um, x plus 1 over x, or 1 plus x over x, right? Okay, okay, that's what 1 plus 1 over x is equal to, this guy here, right? So to find this height, we have to plug in this, which is this, into f. When we do, we get 1 over x plus 1 over x, and therefore the height is um, x over uh, x plus 1 or 1 plus x. I think 1 plus x has a better ring to it. So there that is. So then the area of the under approximating rectangle is 1 over x times x over 1 plus x. So it's 1 over x times uh, x over 1 plus x. 
Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, I want to get rid of this x in the denominator here and this x in the denominator here. I could do that if I multiply all three parts by x. And uh, so, so if I do that, then this goes away and I have to put an x here multiplying our integral and this turns into 1. Cool. Now, let's figure out what our integral is, right? Well, the integral of uh, 1 over x is a natural log of x. So we see that this integral is going to turn into the natural log of x uh, evaluated from 1 to 1 plus 1 over x. Well, this is going to in turn equal, it's going to equal the natural log of uh, 1 plus 1 over x minus the natural log of 1, but the natural log of 1 is 0, so it's just going to equal this. Nice. So what we're saying is this uh, middle part will turn into x times the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. So let me do that. Uh, just get rid of this like this. So we have x times the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. Now, using logarithm rules, I could put this x here on top of the argument, right? So I could write this here. And by the way, I actually can put a lesser or equal to here and a lesser or equal to here. Because here, if x goes to infinity, 1 plus 1 over x uh, is going to go to 1. And so then we'll have like uh, the rectangle get thinner and thinner and thinner and, until like the under approximation and the exact area and the over approximation just become an infinitesimally thin line and so equal. So I can have an equal to part. Yeah, okay, 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 cool. And where to from here? Well, we see that like if uh, this inequality holds for all uh, positive uh, real numbers x, then it must hold for uh, natural numbers n. And so what I'm saying is we can change the x's into n's. So n here, uh, n here, right? n here. Right? Cool, 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 cool. And guess what I'm going to do next? Um, well, wild guess. I'm going to write lim n goes to infinity of n over 1 plus n is less or equal to lim is n goes to infinity of um, ln of uh, 1 plus uh, 1 over n to the n. That's or equal to lim n goes to infinity of 1. Well, this is clearly 1, right? And this is easy to see uh, that it's equal to 1. And therefore, by the squeeze theorem, this here is equal to 1. But notice that this here is not uh, that there, right? So first, let's, as we just claimed, show that this is equal to 1. And then next, uh, using limit rules, we can do this. We can write this here as, using limit rules, we can write it as ln of lim as n goes to infinity of uh, uh, 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power is equal to 1. So all I have done here, right, all I have done is I've put the limit inside of the argument of ln, and I'm allowed to do that, right? And that's a limit rule. Okay, okay, and guess what I'm going to do after that? You guessed it, e here, e here. These guys go. And therefore, this here is equal to e to the first, just saying that that's equal to e to the first. I hope you enjoyed this, and keep watching. Take care.